Hi, I'm Ben Shepard. I'm a volunteer with Time's Up in New York, and uh, in between the rubble and the garbage in New York City, we have a little bit of green space, a small amount of green space, patches, corners, and, and vacant lots turned into gardens, and they're really precious for those of us that live in the city. Uh, Ten years ago, a lot of activists fought very hard. We dressed like tomatoes, we committed civil disobedience, we called the lawyers, we did everything we could do to save the community gardens, and after the Esperanza struggle, we actually got, got a deal from the city to prevent the bulldozing of community gardens for a number of years. The deal that the city cut with Elliot Spitzer is ending this year, this September, which will give the city, basically this will give the city the lease to turn these gardens into development spaces, to sell these spaces off to developers. The best public spaces are well used public spaces and we're here to use these community gardens and enjoy them and to sound the alarm that in September we could lose some of these spaces. So everyone needs to make some noise, call some friends, let them know the gardens are vulnerable again and we need to shake it up. We need to call our politicos and we need to let them know that we need to save all the community gardens in New York City. The city talks a lot about being a green city. It talks a lot about, we talk here a lot about green space. Uh, green, 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 but it's green washing unless the city wants to preserve green spaces for people to enjoy. has got to green, more gardens, more peas. New York City has got to green, more gardens, more peas. New York City has got to green. My name is Azad. And what is this? This is a garden. This is the metal part of the garden. That's a tree house. Um, this guy named Roderick made it. Yeah, name, this guy named Roderick made the garden. Yeah. Do you play here? No, I work here. You work here? Really? What do you do? I help my mom. I help my mom, and I work here and to help the garden. And now the tree house is being invaded by veggies. <laughs> Let's take those veggies to task. This garden is actually marked as parkland, so it ain't going nowhere. This garden yeah. is here to stay. And there's a, it's a, actually, it's a demonstration garden for rainwater catchment. And the wetlands kind of volunteered themselves. When they dug the hole and it rained, the rain sat in a, in a puddle. And the puddle said, I want to be a wetland. So we lined it, and we had frogs and fish and turtles. Uh, yeah, we definitely have, you know, starting with the early um, Earth celebrations, yeah, yeah. you know, that kind of painted. But then there's also definitely, like, uh, this has become a, a hub for the Radical Fairy Circuit. Thank you. Thank you. Peter Kramer. Thank you Peter very Kramer. much. Peter? Peter, Peter Kramer. What's you've up? been so good to us through the years. Thank oh. you very much. I'm always emailing you about all this. Let me Thank squeeze you. your tomato. So Stop the developers, plant and grow. Stop the developers, plant and grow. <laughs> It's a great garden because uh, one of the great historic gardeners in the history of the movement um, used to garden here, Francois Catalan. She was uh, she actually used to run the bulldozer hotline. Her brilliance was that she recognized the radical power of a community garden, and it was one of the final organizing campaigns she was involved in was fighting for the community gardens. <laughs>
Let's say we love you guys so much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.